In the sermon on Sunday, I belabored this idea that Jesus sends his followers out with nothing. At the time, I took that opportunity to chastise the Episcopal Church for our wealth and our social position and the idea that we're tempted very often to go out into our community and say, we have arrived with a solution to your problems. We have bought you what you need. Aren't you grateful to us? So often it's just easier or indeed more effective and more godly to arrive with nothing and say to people, we're just here to be with you. Now, there is some truth in this idea that our, our wealth and our social position can sometimes get in the way, and it is better perhaps to leave those behind when we go out. I don't want to deny that. I don't want us only to say that, that we should see those things in the, 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 the proper value and, and limited value that they have. I think there's more to what Jesus is saying, and I'm tripping over my words as I get around to my key point here which is to say that as much as our things may get in the way, it's equally important not to undervalue what it is that we actually do take out with us, which is to say ourselves. God came among us as a humble person. It's right there in the story. Is this not the carpenter's son come back into his hometown? If God came in a humble form, why should we not go out in a humble form also? And why should that not be enough? If we undervalue the fact that each one of us is an icon of Christ, how will we ever be able to recognize that in every encounter we have with every other icon of Christ, something godly happens? It does say someplace that when two or three are gathered together, the Spirit of God will be in the midst of them. It seems, dear friends, that that's all we need to take out is that icon of God, that icon of Christ, the presence of Christ that shines out from each one of us. It may seem like an odd way to wrap that up, but I follow on Instagram an account that is run by a cat in Finland. And for some reason, this cat decides to end every one of his Instagram posts by saying, you are enough. And, and the cat is beautiful. There's a bunch of other stuff interesting going on in his life. But what sticks with me every time is that expression, you are enough. And how often I need to be reminded of that in my own life. That I should be preached to by a cat in Finland tells you something about where the messages come to us in our lives. Each one of us is enough. Each one of us is fully a child of God. Each one of us is fully a temple of the Holy Spirit from which shines out the light of God into the world. If only we will remember that, then there is no need for money in our belts. There is no need for two tunics. There is no need for any of the other paraphernalia and stuff we drag along behind us. It is enough for each one of us to go out. And the message will be accomplished. The demons will be cast out. The sick, the ills of this world will be healed. We will be enough. Amen.